hey so i finally have an update about the origin fix um as you can see i have my origin open i am able to go to my game i can play it i can do all the things that you could always do with origin you can go to your friends list all the stuff that you did whatever 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 but you need to make sure that you have origin downloaded you can have an older version or a newer version of origin i will go ahead and link you to the official version of origin uh, you just click on pc here and it'll go ahead and it'll download origin for you if you do not have it if you have origin from the last fix that is also perfectly fine as you can see i still have my old version of origin here you can use that as well um it doesn't really matter but the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is go over to oh wait before that let's make sure we close our origin all you have to do is go here and right click on that little origin symbol and hit quit origin awesome so next thing we're going to do, go ahead and do is go to P0358's page. This is the person that usually comes up with the order fixes that most people tell you about. Um, there are a few other people that do order fixes as well, but this person is usually really quick and really good about the order fixes. So go ahead and you can probably go ahead and follow them. So that way you will always be up to date anytime that EA decides to break one of the origin fixes, which they will probably more than likely do again. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down. I will go ahead and leave the link to the description. That way you don't have to come here if you don't want to. And you're going to go to their GitHub page. Um, the reason why it took me a while to come up with the update video was because it was coming up as a virus um, for Windows, but they finally got that fixed. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down here. Now, this thing is called FOP EA, which is very aptly named because EA keeps working all the fixes. So I appreciate it. I appreciate the sense of humor. <laughs> I had to just click on this download button. You go ahead and then download it to wherever you know that you'll be able to find it. I have mine here. I will not be re-downloading it. So I'm going to cancel that. Um, go ahead and open it up here and then double click. Y'all yeah, know how to install stuff. So hit yes. Uh, if you have the EA version, I mean, if you have the Steam version of an EA game, uh, make sure you go ahead and click this so that way it will not launch the Steam launcher. It will launch Origin um but i don't have that so i don't have to worry about that but we're going to click install um it's telling me that the origin web helper service is open and it will go ahead and close it for you if i had left it open it would have told me a bunch of other stuff the order stuff was open and you hit next and it say automatically close it now if it doesn't close uh make sure you go to task manager and make sure that it is closed i don't see it here so i'm going to say that it's closed oh i did not mean to hit ignore so that go it open back up because I made actually hit ignore. Um, so I'm going to hit in, in that task, and then we're just gonna click finish, and that's it. That's all your steps are. That's all you have to do is that, and that's it. And then you open up Origin, and now you have Origin open, and you can play your games. You don't do anything special. Blah 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 blah. But anyway, I hope this has been helpful for you all. I thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. I suggest you go ahead and subscribe so that way you'll be aware of any updates the next time that EA decides to call themselves fixing the origin app <laughs> but anyway take care of yourselves until next time bye